All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this episode, we're going to recap the latest Binance Smart Chain projects that I've been involved in here on the channel, show you guys the progress with them, and give you guys an update of my strategy and what I'm doing to make some passive profits on the Binance Smart Chain. So firstly, we're going to start with Suki here. This is Suki from Sukiyaki.finance here. So this was in a pre-sale on my last video. And I showed you guys it was around $16, $17 in the pre-sale. So it's almost a 5X from the pre-sale. That's the good. The bad in this video was Earth Boys is definitely not the next safe moon, as we can pretty much be guaranteed of that. The development team here at Earth Boys are scammers, and I definitely got fooled by them. Now, this is a project I found on my own, and I researched, and I looked into it, and it looked really great. However, they did not uphold their promises with the smart contract because not only did you not receive BNB on every transaction, that did not work correctly. Also, they didn't lock the liquidity like they claimed they were going to do. They only locked a portion of it and then they pulled the rest of that out and proceeded to dump this token. Now, when I had come across the latest research on Earth Boys, I posted in my Telegram chat that I was gonna go a little bit less on this project i was going to buy in for about half the amount i wasn't able to get into the pre-sale because that was heavily botted and there's a ton of bots that bought in so that was a big red flag from the start and then the, the token held for about an hour and then proceeded to dump so that is very unfortunate here you guys can see my transactions here i'll show you some other transactions that i've made from other tokens that were more of a success but this one is not a success, you know, fully transparent on the channel. I really don't care if you guys see my address and all this stuff because I have nothing to hide and I operate legitly here on the Binance Smart Chain. So you can see that I bought Earth Boys 150 bucks when it first went on PancakeSwap. And then later after looking into what the contract owner did and the way they pulled the liquidity and not locking it up and also the token itself didn't work like it was supposed to. It was basically just another RFI type clone. It didn't have that special function with the BNB on every transaction. So that was a big killer for me. And so I decided about 12 hours later or so to go ahead and just get what I can back for those. So you can see I sold those for about $45 there. So it took about a hundred dollar loss. It happens, you know, that's why you don't invest more than you can afford to lose and you diversify. Because if you did my strategy where you put half into Earth Boys and half into Sukiyaki, and then even followed my strategy cutting it in half when we found out the new information on Earth Boys, you would be up close to two and a half X. You know, what you lost on Earth Boys, you made back for a ton here with Sukiyaki. So Sukiyaki is really taking off. And, you know, I don't know how high this is going to go. You know, those that got in on the pre sale were in a much greater advantage with this. However, I do think that this liquidity can climb, this total value locked here, because they do have pretty good branding, they have a good community already, they have a good amount of Twitter followers, and they have very attractive pools and farms. Okay, I got in this one here. I had paired my Suki with BNB, basically when it was around $30 or so, I believe is when I paired that. I should have done it right away at 16. I wasn't really thinking of that. But yeah, you wanna pair it. If you're gonna plan on using the liquidity, pair it as soon as possible because then you lock in those prices. So now that it's gone up 5X, I have a little bit of a cushion here with the liquidity. So this one's earning an insane 74% a day. So right now I'm gonna make about, if this holds for a whole day, which I'll probably dump down to about 50%, about 12 hours in, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. It might get a full 70%, but even if it gets a 50%, I'm looking at close to $400, $500 in one day with this pool here. And I also got into a few more pools. I got into the Rat BNB pool. I actually pulled my Rat BNB from Marshmallow Swap because they were having some issues with one of their pools. It's all open, the funds are safe. It's just something to do with the reward system. The APR is on there. So I was already in profit with Marshmallow Swap, so I decided this is the best time to jump into Sukiyaki, getting that close to 10%. So only need about 12 hours or less and I can get my deposit fee back out in the 4%, and then it's just house money from there. 
I can just continue to stack the Suki token. And I put the rest of my Suki token. I sold some to get most of my seed money back from what I put in here to lower the risk up front. Not full ROI yet. It'll be about a day or so. And then I'll definitely be in profit here if this token price, you know, can continue to stay somewhat stable and stay around this $70 range. That should be pretty good. All right. So my plan is for one day, I'm going to take all the earnings and get BNB or BUSD. Probably be USD uh, depending right now because there could be a little dip in the market coming up here. That's kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm going to take that for a day. And then depending on how the token price, the volume's looking, I may just compound all my earnings into this Suki pool because this is paying right now 27%. So if I can get that 27% and if this Suki token can continue to rise in price, that could be very beneficial because you're looking at right now for the Suki token, a very stout 90% of the market cap is backing it in liquidity that is very nice to see that means most of this token is in liquidity on the pancake swap and not just floating around so that's good and that's a good sign to see definitely to continue to grow and farm with this token all right so suki swap looking really really good panther swap has made a nice comeback they're up to 165 million again here Total value locked. They had dipped down to about 120 range, but they've seen a nice comeback. We're up to $2.50 per Panther token. Now this one's been pumping out insane profits, and I'm hoping Sukiyaki can be close to that for those that got in early, because this was one of the ones where I was still working on getting my YouTube channel back from those copyright strikes, and so I wasn't able to make a video early on this one because I got in this one super early as well. Uh, around 20 cents for panther token and then i put that all in the farms here so this one's been doing well we're down to six percent this was up towards a 40 percent range you know 20 percent. so six percent still very very good making about eh, give or take 100 150 a day from panther swap at the moment so that's doing extremely well and yeah i still think there's opportunity you know depending you have to Try to decide what you want to do between Sukiyaki and Panther Swap. Sukiyaki is probably going to see some volatility early on because a lot of people are probably going to follow my strategy that I'm doing here. And, you know, this is already kind of dropping as well. So it's okay. That's the way these things go. They go up and down. It's just trying to position yourself early enough to get that ROI out. You want to just get at least what you put in out early. And then if you want to take some profits on top of that, Go ahead and then just it's all house money it's all house money profits you can decide to reinvest you can decide to do whatever you would like with it and yeah it's working great so a new one here i've never shared on the channel yet this one i've been getting into farming wise is walt this is walt finance they have at least 500 uh, 400 500 million locked in their pools here and this one is doing well with some great returns as well I'm in this wex pool right here wex to BNB they have a couple different coins they have like three uh, two or three different coins I just use this wex this one and I pair it with BNB getting around three percent a day and then what I'm doing with this I'm taking all of the wex from here and then what I do is I pump that into the wex pool because I like the earnings from that and I do think this WEX token can grow in price. It's already had an insane incline. It's on a really nice trajectory upwards. And yeah, I'll show you the charts with WEX real quick. This is how you can see the charts. And let me just get the token there. So you copy that, you put it into PooCoin. That's what I like about PooCoin. Very easy to use. So you can see this is called the Walt Swap token. WEX is its name there and you can see just a nice trajectory upwards okay started less than a penny so it's it's already gone up about 25x 26x from the very very beginning and that's still got room to grow we still have seen these farming tokens do much more than that and yeah we have plenty of room to grow it's got a lot of liquidity locked and yeah it's looking great with this one so i'm going to continue just to compound and just See how high I can get the farming with this. So my goal is to, like I said, put it into this pool because once it's in here, 
compound it. So my goal is to get this pool up to high enough to then I can just take the profits off of that. In a perfect world, I take the profits daily from this pool, all right? And then I compound it into this pool. And then I take the earnings from this pool and that's what I cash out. So it's always building and it's just a compounding machine. That's what I wish I would have done going back to pancake swap with cake this cake I found early on as well about a couple bucks and yeah I wish I would have just stayed in the house pool like this and just compound and compound and compound but of course it's early on you're still learning you want to get some profits you see that money there on the dashboard everybody wants to dip their hands in it at some point it just feels good it just it definitely feels good to take profits so I don't hate on people for doing that but of course sometimes i count up all the profits i left on the table by cashing out a little too early and you know it, it's a give and take because there's times you hold too long and then you don't you don't get to take the profits as well so yeah these these are the three main staples sukiyaki like i said still super early um of course the pre-sale people that got in with me definitely have an advantage okay so if you're looking to get something from the start if you're not in any of these right now I would actually start with Walt. I would just get into Walt, start compounding, growing your WEX, and then start taking some profits and then maybe finding some other opportunities as well. But yeah, Panther Swap is still, it's its getting more hype. It's getting much more hype and the liquidity is going up. So that's really good and very attractive rates, okay, with these. All right now, Evo DeFi, this one's hanging in there. This one has been up and down as well. It was up to as high as $17, $18 back to around nine ten dollar range so that's about you know kind of where it should be it's kind of just get finding that floor there for it and yeah this one got in early as well this was another one man i wish i could have had the channel at the time because it's another one where i saw it on a dip around two dollars two dollars and fifty cent range and i scooped these tokens up early and yeah got in there so that one's been pumping out this one's making about fifty dollars a day at the moment Okay, so we'll go over to Octree. This one's just constant profits, very stable, staying at that stable price, and that's a really good sign because people in Octree have strong hands and they are holding for the long term. So this one is just pumping along. I use their DEX aggregator whenever I need to buy large chunks of crypto with PancakeSwap or something. Like if I want to, if I want to convert like five hundred or a thousand dollars in BUSD. Uh, what's the best rate to do that? What is the best exchange to find to actually get the best rate? And this is going to do it for me right here. So if I want to buy a thousand dollars worth of BNB, what's the best exchange to use right now? Now it's not always Pancake Swap. Sometimes it is. Like for right now, look, it's Bakery Swap. This is getting me the most BNB for my BUSD. Pancake Swap is actually third on the list at the moment. It just depends on the rates and the liquidity at the time. So I would click swap right there and it would take me to this exchange and I'll get that rate. And this is really big guys. This is what Octree does. And yeah, once you do, once they do that, they're going to also have arbitrage opportunities and you have to hold the OCT token in order to use that in the future, the more advanced features. All right. So that's really big with that. Now, a new one here, you guys kind of want to get into a pre-sale that could be something big this is wise token now wise token started on the ethereum network they ran into the issue of insane gas fees and it just really hindered their project so they decided they already had a grid community they had a lot of liquidity already in their wise token it had i think it had five to ten x if i had to guess from the ethereum price of when people got in and so this is as transparent as you're going to find on one of these projects they're an llc they have names and faces backing this real people okay all these projects have real people but these ones are more up front and out in the open and you're kind of putting their faces and necks on the line for the project and that always to me gives me motivation to kind of back that and support it so what i've done and i look at their roadmap it looks very ambitious you know they're gonna possibly do a lending borrowing contract Kind of like a celsius okay kind of like a nexo kind of thing they're gonna have pools they're gonna they're gonna have a lot of aspirations and see this is the stuff they were gonna do on ethereum but ethereum not allowing for that with the fees is just not economical 
for its investors because why are you gonna use all these features if it's gonna cost you hundred dollars two hundred dollars to use that each time it's just it's insane you can't do that it's not profitable so on Binance you could do the same thing for pennies on the dollar and that's the beauty of the Binance smart chain that's really why CZ really did this he did this for the people he really wanted to give back to the people because there was a time you know when I was looking back in the ethereum days and I was just seeing video after video of these people making tons of gains on these uniswap gems just buying in early and I couldn't participate in that I couldn't participate because I couldn't afford it I couldn't afford the fifty dollar the hundred dollars each time to do the swaps and it just ate away at my profits and until Binance Smart Chain came along, now we can all participate in this yield farming and feel like, you know, we can finally make some passive income. That's the beauty of the Binance Smart Chain. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You know, yes, is there competitors like Matic and these other competitors coming out? Yes, but they don't have the backing of the world biggest and most volume cryptocurrency exchange and the most trusted Binance. That's what backs the Binance Smart Chain. None of these other scaling solution options have the backing of an exchange like that so that's what's big so if you want to get in this pre-sale basically connect your wallet and then you would click on this buy okay you would click on one of these and since i already contributed there you would just click again basically what they do is they give you an option if you want to buy a lot you can have an option to win some money here like for this one you can be the largest one there these are, these are for the whales i just get in this one i'm in for half a bnb right now I might get in more. I'm kind of debating. I think I might put another half a BNB in here at some point. We still have four days, you know, a little over four days before this ends. So the price is going to stay the same right now. So if you want to get into Wise, this is the time to get in. Don't wait. Just get in now if you're going to think about getting in when all this stuff goes live. They're going to have staking. It's going to be a whole staking ecosystem, yield farming, a bunch of stuff with this. Okay, so. There's a link in the description for wise if you guys want to check it out you guys can get in on that so that's kind of the projects the main staples there for me here on the channel and so i want to show you guys real quick the from this first video here when i was talking about octree i always guys always watch my videos all the way to the end because i save some gems in there i save some good information and put it in the end that maybe it isn't even about the topic of the video at hand because you know not everything is going to be cover just in the title or, or the description sometimes I cover things that go above and beyond that so I highly recommend watching the entire video if you're gonna watch a video that's what I do when I decide to watch a YouTube video I just watch it till the very end because I don't want to miss anything that might be in that video when I decide to click on it all right so in this video I showed you a new trend of the BNB price I told you yeah we're gonna probably top out a little and then maybe have a little correction phase and what happened guys we almost hit the target of 697 we hit 678 right on schedule like literally right on schedule hit the higher high from the bar trend pattern there and we have a little bit of consolidation okay so we might we might do this instead it just depends we might come down find some support on this line and instead of dumping down like this bar trend pattern says we will and then dump down even more we might just do it here and get the double bottom like this and then go upwards. So let's see. So 600 could be the bottom for BNB because we had strong support. Look, when we bounced, when we bounced down to this, we almost touched the line. Strong buy support, strong buy support. All right. So 600 could be the bottom for BNB or we could go back to 500. Okay. So that, those are the two options before we skyrocket again upwards because more and more people are getting on bnb it's the biggest thing right now it's the most affordable way to yield farm most profitable and doing extremely well it has the backing of cz seifu finance exchange most popular most just credited crypto exchange all right so this one is looking at like i said 1200 by june that's what i'm looking at double price for bnb token all right, guys, so real quickly before you end the video, just to show you guys what you're looking at here. This isn't to brag or anything for track record. This is just for transparency. All right, so this is my main Binance wallet here, Binance Smart Chain wallet. So let me just show you guys real quick, just for people who 
for full transparency, not to brag, not to share with you guys, just to be fully transparent that what I say on the channel is what I actually do. All right, this is me buying Panther Swap six days ago, Panther Token. You can see 250 bucks in BUSD. Okay, got me 250 Panther Token. And this one actually, what did I do? Oh no, this is when I paired the tokens actually. That's actually when I paired them. So when did I when did I buy them here? Let's see. Go back here. Sometimes with this Binance Smart Chain, you can't see the full picture. Um so this is let's see, I was buying these. There we go. 160 bucks for 500 Panther tokens. All right, so you can see from 160 to 1400. All right, you can see the price difference there. So that's what I've been doing, guys. I've been trying to find these gems early and just unfortunate that I didn't have the channel up and able to post videos at that time. All right, genetics, genetics. This one now I got on a dip. You know, you don't always have to be first. You can buy it on a dip. It just, you have to buy something on a dip that has some backing, community backing, a good project, a good ecosystem, and just a good way for supply and demand for use case. And they do with their NFTs and their monster battles and all this stuff. It's original and something that can stand on its own. So let's go back here. This is when I bought one BNB for those 246 gen tokens that I have staked here. So I've staked 243 and then those other three tokens, I bought some NFTs with that to, you know, cause you can get more earnings if you buy the NFT package. I think I did the loot box and yeah, I did the loot box. I did this one for one and then that one for two. I did those two and then I did the farms. So yeah, you can see that 630 into two grand right there. And I've pulled off many earnings from genetics, uh, their Evo token. I've just been pulling off enough to get ROI. And then once I feel comfortable enough, maybe I'll just continue to compound these back in. All right. But that's what I recommend you guys do. I do what I preach. And, you know, I try to find gems early for you guys. Just like lately, you know, I found Sukiyaki. Yes, was Earth Boys a complete flop? Yes, it was. But if you followed my strategy with it and kept up to date on the Telegram chat, that's where I try to post, especially with this Earth Boys one, because I kind of got wrapped up into that one with you guys on the channel. So I want to show you guys fully transparent when I was buying, when I was selling, and what my strategy was. If you follow that, you were down, you know, 70%. It's not the end of the world. You know, we'll make it back. You made it back easy with Sukiyaki. And, you know, if you want to take your profits now, yes, take your profits. You know, take your 4X. Don't, don't take the full 4X. Just take, you know, maybe sell half and then put half into farming. And, you know, take advantage of these percentages. It's up to you. So you guys do what you like. I'm fully transparent on the channel with what I'm doing. And I hope you guys are able to make some profits as well. And we can make some great gains along the way here. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, I recommend hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up button, and following along for this Binance Smart Chain journey. As I try to grow my account to six figures here in the near future, with you guys as well, following along and possibly growing your own crypto as well. So if you guys like that, leave a comment down below. Tell me about your journey in crypto. Tell me about your journey on the Binance Smart Chain. What's working for you? What's making you some profits? I'll be interested to hear about it. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto out.